Hey guys, so I'm here today to tell you about the post-coital test, which is basically a test um, after sex test. So you usually take this test after you get a positive on your OPK, which is an ovulation predictor kit test. Um, I got my positive on the 13th, so I called that morning. Um, I got the positive as soon as I got off work. It's 6 a.m. So I called my doctor around like um, 9, 9.30. I scheduled a test for the next day, which was Saturday, which was, it was yesterday. So, um... I scheduled my test for Saturday at 9.45, which I have a great doctor because I don't know many doctors that are trying to come in on a Saturday when they are off and they could be playing golf or whatever doctors play. I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm just a lonely little police officer. I don't, I don't make doctor money. So anyway, um, he came in at 9.45 to do my test. And basically the test is nothing but, um, you lay down on a table like any other examination that, um, like any other examination at a gynecologist or fertility specialist office, um, waist down, you he does his little examination. He puts a, a swab up you to actually get a sample of your cervix, uh, a sample of the sperm and the mucus that is inside of your cervix. So that's kind of cool. And he also, my doctor also did an ultrasound of my ovaries and my uterus to make sure to see what was going on in there. And he actually saw that my right uterus, my right, my right uterus, not my right uterus. I only have one uterus. My right ovary was actually empty. So he assumed that is the one um, where that I actually ovulated from. Um, so after he did that, he then took us out of the room. I got, well, I got dressed and we came out of the room. He showed me um, the sperm and the mucus under the microscope because that's where he looks at it to see if your mucus is actually hostile to sperm or not. So he takes the sperm, the, the sample, he takes the sample and he places it under the microscope and you can actually see the sperm swimming around in there and, uh, it was so cool because it looked like, they looked like little tadpoles just like went swimming around just like that up in there and it was really... It was really cool to see it. I thought it was awesome. And Jason thought it was cool because they kept reminding... Well, he kept reminding Jason of his super sperm and how he's above average in sperm production. So, that made his little day. He was all like this up in there like... Like, dude, we get it. We get it. Your sperm is awesome. So, anyway. um, So, he does that and he shows us all the results of that. Um, He did talk about starting me on metformin. But he said that he's not really sure because I work at night and he doesn't want it to mess up my glucose levels. Um, he also said that he wasn't so sure about actually starting me on it because my levels have regulated themselves out over the last couple of months that I've been seeing him. And he also, he had been, then he talked about um, starting me on a, a little fertility drug, like a small amount of something. But like he said before, he's not really sure because... All of my stuff is regulating itself out. And he said, if I'm not pregnant with Ben by the end of July, that he'll probably try to start me on something, like really, really small, just to see. And just to get the little ball rolling a little bit quicker. But he's really not sure because he said, um, if I start on anything, it's more likely to go this is going to give me multiples. And, you know, me in my head, I'm like, oh, man, I don't care. Give me all, give me all the babies. But then I'm like, mm. Mm. Kamika, do you really want to have like two or three kids at one time? At one time with your schedule and your husband's schedule, like, like me and Jason's schedule. Like, I work at night. I work like six to six, and then he works like normal, normal human hours. So we barely see each other. And I think about it like this: like, if we have a kid, we're working these kind of schedules. Like, what are like? What are our child care options? Like, we're, like, I sleep all day, and he sleeps all night, so these babies gonna be crying. Lucky gonna have to rock the baby's little bassinet or something. Like, I'm a trained Lucky. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm a trained Lucky how to take care of babies. <laughs> uh, now I'm just playing. I'm just playing, y'all. Don't take me seriously right now. But anyway, um... So, yeah, that's basically where we're at right now. Um, we're just trying to see if we get a sticky bun this month. And if we do, that's a really awesome thing. Um, that would be really great to actually get a positive this month. I haven't really been testing at all. Like, I used to, like, test, like, every month when I first started doing this. But I've gotten to the point now. It's just, like, I'm not at a point where I'm, like, it's whatever. But it's, like, 
I'm not as overly obsessed about it anymore. Oh, I did want to show you what kind of ovulation predictor kit I use. And it is, it is the clear blue, clear blue ovulation, digital ovulation test. And this is the test that my fertility doctor um, actually recommends because he does not like the little, um, the non-digital version, versions because people misread them and it, it's not as accurate to him, at least to him. So... This, you get 20 tests inside of the box, box and, whoops. Hmm. So, yeah. So, you get 20 tests in the box, and when you get a positive, you get a smiley face. When you get a negative, you get a no face. So, really, really simple, really, really easy to, um, to understand. So, that's always a good thing. I don't want to do, I don't want to be using all the little sticks and you have to, Try to see one stick darker and the, I ain't got time for all that. I just want a smiley face. Tell me if I'm doing it right. If I'm not, uh, oh well. But they also have like a more advanced version where it actually tells you more stuff than just smiley face. It actually tells you like your two peak days or whatever. So if you want to get into that one, uh, I got mine off of Amazon. I get all my baby, baby making stuff, uh, like testing stuff off of Amazon because it's it's cheap and I ain't got to go in the store time for that. I just like going on Amazon because it's discreet. Ain't nobody got to know. Like, it's whatever. So, guys, um, thanks for watching the video. And I will have more videos. And I'm going to start back trying to do a little bit more makeup videos and hair videos. Y'all see how my hair is right now. I'm about to go to work. So, I had to do it. Y'all know. Y'all know the struggle with that place. But, anyway, I had to do it a little bit more conservative for... The squad I'm working on tonight because they a bunch of haters. Some of them some haters, so I had to tone it down a lot. But um, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching.